Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So now in this video, we are going to learn about how looking at the options data of a particular sector, we can follow a top down approach of first understanding how the OI levels for that sector as a whole has been placed and further how we can go ahead and identify a particular instrument from that particular sector. So to do that, we are going to use the consolidated OI tool in the open interest panel in our application. So once I click on consolidated OI, it shows me a consolidated look about how in the components of a sector, the open interests have been placed, how the OI levels have been situated. So if I talk about there are only two sectors which can be traded in options, right? That is Nifty and Bank Nifty. There is no strike price for IT sector. There are no options for IT sector, neither for FMCG, neither for Pharma, right? So what the tool does is it shows us how, for an example, in FMCG space or an IT sector, how in components of IT or the selected sector of ours, the open interest levels have been placed and it gives a quick look about what exactly is happening in that sector as a whole. So it eases out the process in following a top down approach. So first process is to select our desired sector from here. So let's say IT stocks. So the moment we select IT, so the green color bars on the graph is showing us call open interest red color bars on the graph are showing us put open interest. So green color acting like my pressure, acting like my resistance, red color put writers acting like my support. Okay. Now this open interest has been quantified and consolidated based on how the open interest has been placed by the participants in IT stocks. Okay. So now Talking about the open interest, now how exactly we are going to interpret this graph, let's try to understand that. So now let's take an example of Nifty and Bank Nifty. So how we do it, highest call becomes my resistance, highest put becomes my support. Similarly, we will do it in this way and uh, in this as well, wherein there is no complex thing as such. We will also analyze this as we we'll analyze the normal open interest for Nifty, Bank Nifty or any other stock. Okay. So the moment I click on any of the strike price over here, we will get to see that there is a delta bean which has been popped up, right? Wherein, if we see, it is 45 delta call, 55 delta put. So it is a delta bean. Now, if we understand that, that the deltas for at the money will never be exactly 0.5 right it will be in that zone now what does bean means is that beans means a cluster zone okay like around 50 delta call how the open interests are been situated in various it stocks so similarly understanding of delta is very prudent while understanding this tool so let me just quickly give a brief about it a gist about it so let's say for call option, my ATM option will have a probability of expiring in the money or out the money 50-50, right? So ATM call will become my 50 delta call. Talking about in the money call options, my delta will be 55 and above it, okay? Similarly, my out of the money calls will have a delta of 45 and below it okay this is for call similarly if i talk about for put this put becomes my otm then atm put which is at the money and out of the money again my put option at the money will become 50.5 it would be negative but in the tool what we have done is we have kept all positive so it does not lead to a lot of confusion for atm put 50 delta right for in the money put option my delta would be 55 right and anything above it as on deep we go in the strikes the, it will keep on uh, increasing similarly for otm 45 and it would be 
anything below it it would be the delta for put option so 55 delta call becomes my in the money call and how much would be my put delta 45 50 delta atm call 50 delta atm put 45 delta otm call and 55 delta in the money put so it would be net net equal at the end okay the net figure if we uh, do the math it should be 100 okay so it would be that way in the consolidated oi tool so now it will directly tell us how the open interest levels have been placed on at the money one or two strikes around at the money so if i click on any of the strike over here i'll directly get to see how the open interest has been placed and how the changes are happening so if i focus on this graph there are some tips which are which the the hollow has been created and there are some tips where a tip has been brightened so wherever there is a hollow which has been created it shows us unwindings have been made wherever tip has been brightened so wherever we see that there is a brightened tip it shows us that additions have been made to the open interest red color put oi green color call oi now if we focus on it specifically we can see a lot of unwindings or short coverings taking place on multiple strike prices which are closer to add the money so only this strike price which is a 55 delta call and a 45 delta put has seen an addition rest all of the otm strikes have already seen an unwinding accompanied with additions in put happening which means the resistance on the upper strike is getting weaker and the support is getting stronger multiple put strikes which are in the money puts if we focus 50 delta put at the money put witnesses addition 55 delta put which is an in the money put option witnesses addition 55 delta put also witnesses addition along with short covering going around on call which tells me kind of the resistance on it sector as a whole is getting eased off and the support is getting strengthened what we need to observe is we need to observe the change we don't need to go ahead and check the absolute figures observe the change okay we need to quantify the change now just by looking at this figure i know that it sector does not have a lot of resistance coming up ahead the moment i see that 50 delta call sees an unwinding and this 55 delta call sees an unwinding that becomes a strong sector for me still it is a strong sector for me Further, I can click on the arrows over here and I can quickly keep on scanning how the open interest levels are keeping on changing and how the other sectors as a whole they are behaving. So if I see in metal sector, a lot of call writer call writing is taking place. Further, I can go ahead and check it for auto, auto stocks as well. So again, the same scenario in auto stocks as well. So now out of two or three sectors, probably you can go ahead and try to do it along with a lot of sectors. I found out IT sector which witnesses a lot of short coverings happening on the call side and addition happening on the put. I can go to open interest. I can pick up the IT stocks. Okay. So let's say emphasis. So in emphasis, if you focus, similar data point has been observed. Somewhere around at the money, there is a lot of short coverings happening on call. 1740. If we see in short covering, then emphasis will become like our candidate because I just called directly placed at 18,000, 1800. The resistance is now directly placed at 1800 call. That is the heaviest call. So emphasis becomes like our candidate. So this is how we can go ahead and follow a top-down approach just by looking at the options data. So the key takeaway is we can have a look on the consolidated OI tool in the market as. Then we can niche down our approach to finding out a specific stock from that sector as a whole. So like we found out something like emphasis was interesting, but I didn't know that there is something positive happening in IT stock. But it, as it, there was a consolidated Y tool, which showed me that, okay, multiple strikes in IT sector are witnessing a short covering. So I better analyze the IT stocks and how an individual stock is behaving. And that is how it will help me with an end-to-end -end solution of finding out a top-down approach. So I would say that was it from my side. Consolidated OI tool is also available on our mobile application. So don't forget to check out that as well. The data will remain the same. The UI will almost be the same.
So do check out that and thank you so much for staying tuned up till here. See you all in the next